Okay, we're going to point the airplane into the wind. We have some southwest winds today. And we're going to do... We're going to do the power off stall. So we're setting the airplane up as if we're coming in for a landing. And it appears that we're going to be a little short of the runway. And we're trying to stretch our glide to the airport without adding power, just by using pitch alone. Since this is a landing maneuver, we're going to be simulating our own final. The gear comes down. Fingertips on the yoke. We're going to bring the throttle back a little bit, as if we're coming in to land. We'll get some flaps in. And all we need to do is establish a descent. There's nothing that says you need to get to 500 feet a minute or anything like that. Just establish a descent. And then from there, just slowly close the throttle. And just pretend we're just trying to make it to that runway out there. And you don't need to keep pulling up until you stall. If you do this maneuver, boy, that trim is awfully stiff. If you do this maneuver, you are basically wings level when you stall. So we just hold it here. We're just trying to make that runway out there. Just trying to make that runway. Don't need to have a nose high attitude. Charlie Mike is 2,000 feet off of the airport. All right, 498 Charlie Mike, stay your position. Off of the airport at 2,000 feet. And we're just trying to make that runway out there, just holding it up. 498 Charlie Mike, just verify your SS4A aircraft. Now we're starting yeah, to we're get the stall buffet. So we recover slowly, nice and slow. 498, Charlie Mike, transponders observed. Proceed on course outside the Bravo, Baltimore altimeter is 3065. 3065, power, flaps up, climb. Gear up. Remainder of the flaps. I know, hotel outside of the gate of climb into 3000. And we're recovered.